what's up guys once again you are welcome to our channel today all right guys it don't happen again Tenebu have just been exposed information is out that had they just concluded united nation general assembly meeting that was held in september 11th information is out that Tenebu spent more than five hundred thousand us dollars just for accommodation only for accommodation this is a breakdown i want you guys to watch this video and then after that i'll be back the foundation for investigative journalists obtained a memo dated september 11 2023 showing that the federal government allegedly spent a whooping $507,000 on hotel accommodation for President Bola Ahmed Tinubu at the 78th session of the United Nations General Assembly. According to the memo, over $422,000 out of the total amount covered the cost of rooms booked for the president and his close aides at the St. Regis Hotel in New York from September 16th to September 23rd and the remaining $84,000, which is 20% of the hotel reservation cost, was for incidentals. I mean, you know when Nigerians hear that amount, $507,000 in this okay. economy. You know okay, what so that this means. Was a link. This was a leak, and I must put a caveat, we're yeah. here to independently verify yes. this. But if this is true, it is every, every shade bad. Because we can't live in a country this way. When you tell the citizens to tighten their belt and you're frolicking with this amount of money, it's just very sad. It's, and it's, you see, it's this new level of madness we have in our country. But are you surprised, Oji? We're here sitting down that an ex militant was going to be running for deputy governor. So the system that brings our politician in is rubbish in the first place. Intellectuals, clear headed, peaceful people don't get to the top position. For you to get to the top position in Nigeria, you must have killed people with guns. Mm -hmm. You must be able to use guns, have an army to be able to destroy and kill people. We can't build a country that way. And that's why we are falling. We are sinking. Nigeria is at a precipice today. Look at the quality of our lawmakers. Many years ago, somebody said in the parliament, was a former police officer, and he looked at the law lawmakers and the senators and said, oh, most of these people here, they've been in my cell at one point or the other. So it's not today. And we've destroyed the country in all of this you know what hurts my heart so yeah. much all, all right guys so guys looking at that figure i think a dollar now is um is over one thousand naira a dollar is one thousand i think fifty naira now right now as we speak and considering this amount five more than five hundred thousand years dollar, that is five hundred million naira just for accommodation 500 million naira just for accommodation that's just accommodation we don't talk about other expenses miscellaneous and everything that is just for accommodation and yet Tenebo will want us to believe that it means well for this country no now it's not fair it's not fair because look at even the increment of the uh, salary Tenebo just implemented on 1st of october it took pressure it took pressure from nlc and TUC for him to implement, I think, 35,000 naira. 35,000 naira increment for those who are making the money. Ah, this is so bad. It's so bad. So you can see here that the crop of people we have in this country are just evil men. All of them, there is no scent among them. All of them, they are all evil. Bwari, we saw the one Bwari did. Look at what Bari did. In fact, the corruption under Bari's government is even more worse than that of Jonathan. People have said that Jonathan government was the most corrupt. But looking at Bari, Obari was the most corrupt. But yeah, this is somebody that was hailed as a crusader, that he was going to come as a corruption crusader to, 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 to cure Nigeria of corruption. But rather, corruption now turned the way around and got hold of Bari. Look at even up to even up to the, I think, two days to the expiration of Bari's tenure, the Minister of Aviation, you know, came into the country with two aircraft, two uh, the Nigerian Airways, and claimed that Bari had delivered on a diligence, the, uh, I mean, dividend of democracy, that the promised Nigerian Airways have been, you know, have been restored. 
Meanwhile, it was found out that it was Ethiopian airline. You know, they thought that Nigeria are, are Mughus. Nigeria just copied the number at the tail of the airline, at the tail of the plane, and investigated it online and discovered it was Ethiopia. And it was the next day the plane flew back to Ethiopia where they just they removed the paint and it was it was even discovered that the money they used in painting that aircraft was 100 billion naira just to paint that aircraft to scam nigerians so why am i saying this all of our leaders we've ever had in this country are all evil men Tinubu is not exempted all of them can you imagine a president spending this kind of money and that's our subsidy money. That's the money they wanted to believe that they will use to develop the country and all of that. The saving from the subsidy and all of that is still a fraud. It's still a fraud. But look at in Abuja. Yesterday I posted a video where uh, more than um, goods, what 10 billion naira was dismantled in Abuja. That was on Friday. Just because they want to develop Abuja, they dismantled one printing uh, uh, complex. That printing complex had more than, more than I think, uh, they had more than 100 printing presses around that area. They were, it was, nobody took anything out of that place. They dismantled it. Yeah, they will show the video of how the FCT dismantled, they, they destroyed more than 500 bikes. So why am I saying all of this? We don't have leaders, whether we have rulers, people who are here to rule us and it is just too bad. What do you guys think, please? I want you to drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. This is Emma Com TV. God bless you.